Hey guys, um, it's been a while since I uh, put one of these videos up. Um, I've basically just been too busy making comics to uh, to blog or or uh, or make videos about it. Um, yeah, it's uh, July, middle of July here. Uh, I'm alone at the studio. Everyone else has gone on vacation. I can't. <laughs> I don't have the time. Uh, last year, around this time, I was in New York working on uh, on this book, The History of Glass and Windows. A graphic novel, a uh, corporate graphic novel about, well, the history of glass and windows. They actually made a little uh, video about my process. I'll, I'll show you a snippet of that here and then I'll uh, tell you what else I've been up to. From early on in the process, we wanted to create a dynamic graphic novel that visualizes the history of glass and windows. We chose Pala Schmidt, a dedicated and talented comic book artist who recently won a well-deserved prize, the Best Danish Comic Book Artist of 2015. After the manuscript was nearly finished, Pala roughly sketches each page to create a natural flow and allow the reader to both understand the story and become immersed in its universe. He then paints a black ink wash on thick paper to create the light and dark contrast which enhances the foundation of each visual form and allows some of the sketchy lines to remain. After the ink wash is dry, he then scans the illustrations and digitally paints the panels. The end result has a watercolor feel that is both controlled and expressive. This style captures natural energy in a unique way, like the fire for glass making ferocious winds, or the presence of sunlight. Yep, that was the history of glass and windows. Um, as I said, I worked uh, in New York on this, and that was a total coincidence. I could have done this pretty much anywhere. Um, that's one of the things I learned from it was, uh, other than the fact that, that I could make comics about pretty much anything, because the, the topic of glass and windows has never been a dream project of mine, but it was really cool to, to be working on this book. Uh, as you can see, it takes us through all these uh, cool uh, or interesting historical periods. Um, but another thing I learned was that I could do parts of the making comics process pretty much anywhere. So I was working uh, on my laptop in Photoshop and uh, saving it directly into Dropbox. So all the finished pages would not uh, get lost if somebody broke into our rented apartment and stole my computer. Um, so yeah, that's that's one thing. Um, another thing I did was, I oh, actually did another graphic novel uh, last year. Uh, this was this is called Diego and Dolly. It's going to come out in Denmark here in, in, uh, in August. This is all the original art, as you can tell. It's done with, uh, with pencil and, uh, and some uh, markers, um, pretty much, you know, any any old markers I could find lying around and um, and as you can see I, I sketch quite a lot on the back and it's done on dinky copy paper so uh, there was no fear of, of ruining my uh, my expensive drawing board with screwing up so that was one thing a very freeing process to be working on this and and as you can see probably a more sketchy more or, um, gritty style than I've worked in previously so um, so yeah, another interesting uh, project with another uh, writer, a YA novelist. That's one thing. Uh, I can't remember if this was last year or the year before that I wrote these two books uh, with my wife. Uh, my wife and I co-wrote these. I did the uh, illustrations for them. As you can see, again, a, a very different style. Uh, I tend to shake things up quite a bit in terms of, uh, of what kind of style I draw in. Uh, depending on the project, so um, so to make things interesting for me and and hopefully for others, I uh, yeah I tend to uh, to vary my style quite a bit depending on the project. Yeah, out oh, it's a family. And uh, oh yeah, speaking of comics, I also won these two awards actually. 
one of them is for uh, Danish Comic Artist of the Year, and the other is for Best Danish Comic of uh, of 2015, and uh, that was for the uh, Danish uh, edition of Thomas Alsop, the book I did with Chris Miscavige at Boom. So that's interesting um, to be winning an award for uh, for Best Danish Comic on a translated book. I wrote uh, a YA novel. Um, it's a five different stories uh, taking place at the same day, and, and they intersect in a very like shortcuts kind of, of way. That was published earlier this year, but I wrote it last year, and and in the beginning of the year, I did the uh, illustrations for another kids book, um, in a very different style, uh, once more. I mean, this is all black and white illustrations on the interiors. Please note the. Uh, the reference to uh, the Edward Hopper painting here. I <laughs> thought that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, so that's another book. Uh, this book of mine was published. It's a crime novel that I wrote, uh, not last year. It was written. Uh, it was written uh, uh, over a period of, of, of ten years, and it's now finally out uh, in Danish. And I'm just really happy to, to get that out into the world. And as you can see, no pictures at all. So this is a real book for adults. Uh, right now I'm working on uh, a translation of, uh, of this book, A.J. Kaczynski's The Last Good Man. It's, uh, it's out in English, I believe. Uh, you can get it on Amazon, but I'm working right now with the writers as well to, uh, to translate this into a 132-page graphic novel. Um, and as you can see, I, I wreck this, uh, this copy of the book completely by doing little doodles in there and trying to, to cram this into 132 pages is not easy, uh, by any means. So, um, so yeah, that's a really, uh, interesting project I'm working on right now and learning a ton along the way. Hopefully I can share some of that with you at a later time. And as you can see, I, uh, I'm already started. So, uh, yeah, all I gotta do is, is fill in these blanks and, uh, and I'm, I'm good. So yeah, as you can tell, I've, I've, uh, just been insanely busy this, uh, this past year, year and a half, and, uh, it doesn't seem to be, uh, ending anytime soon. I mean, I have the rest of, of 2016 pretty much booked, uh, working on this Kaczynski project. Um, yeah. So, uh, so please forgive me if my updates haven't been all that frequent. I uh, hope you're having a great summer, and uh, thanks for watching.